Hi, my name is Blaise Cotillon. I'm down here today at uh, South Pole Station in Antarctica. Uh, the date is March 6, 2013. It's 8 a.m. and the temperature is uh, negative 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's a little bit windy today, so it feels a little bit colder. Um, behind me is Ice Cube Lab. Uh, it's basically the brains of our uh, neutrino telescope. Um, myself and another researcher are down here for the whole year uh, this year to uh, make sure that the telescope is running smoothly. Um, unlike other telescopes that use optics or a dish like the um, South Pole Telescope back there, uh, we use a volume of ice, uh, basically the ice under us. Um, if you could imagine a circle uh, with a radius of uh, 0.5 kilometers from this point and uh, down about 2 kilometers deep, um, that volume, uh, we've embedded about 5,400 optical detectors in there uh, that can detect the faint blue light that, um, that results from a neutrino strike. And uh, all that data gets fed up through these two columns here and into this building. And uh, we can process this huge amount of data to not only figure out, uh, to not only detect the neutrinos uh, that strike the ice, but also uh, where they came from in space. Uh, and that's what makes this uh, project a telescope.